the science guy. This is Professor Edmondson talking today about the wonderful world of chemistry. This is to my little kids, and so they will understand what uh, chemistry can do for them in this world. Uh, back in the early uh, days of school, when I was in graduate school, uh, there was a movie that came out called The Graduate. And in it, the magic word that was whispered to Dustin Hoffman was plastics. So, this is what led me into the world of plastics. These got little things right here are polyethylene, and this particular one is linear low density polyethylene. That made me money, that made me uh, able to have a good job, and put you guys uh, through school. So, little things like this make wonderful inventions. So, plastics was the word that got me into it. So, there are other things dealing with chemistry, too, that you might like and you might be aware of, besides trash bags. Things like aromas, like banana. What smells like, what does a banana smell like? It smells like three methyl butyl acetate. That's what it smells like. <sighs> yeah, the good old aroma of bananas. So anytime you smell that, just think 3-methyl-butyl acetate. Another thing that you might smell around and stuff is this wonderful little invention called Starbucks. So the aroma of coffee, but we really don't like the aroma. What we really go after is the caffeine in there to really get to it. So caffeine is always great and uh, it gives us that little lift that we like each day. But for other things uh, dealing with chemistry, uh, you couldn't do it without computers. And somebody by the name of Boyd probably knows more about the computers than uh, several of us do, but things like machine language, it's on, off, on, off, on, off. That's all that it does. But he uses higher language like C, like CDB, CDB run. Uh, you remember those old books? Don't know anything else, but uh, that's about it right now. And so you can see as as Professor Edmondson says, no to scientific literacy. And the other thing you'll see is I was always called the mad scientist.